Hi guys, I thought I would go ahead and do an update to my 3D printer, my Prusa from Maker Farm i3V. This has an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight build area, and I've been playing around with it now for several months. I made a cabinet for it, if you've been watching my other videos. And I just thought I would uh, go through some of the parts real quick and show my cabinet and some of the modifications I've made. It's pretty much the way I want it now, so I just thought I would put a uh, miscellaneous video together of all the little things that I've done to this printer. So let's go ahead and get started with the Maker Farm Prusa i3V 3D printer. <laughs> So these ramp electronics are pretty impressive and I like the design and it has plenty of pins to uh, do other stop configurations or servos and um, the drivers are replaceable. They come right off the board, they sock it in and there's like an Arduino behind it. So this is a double layer board, I'll show you. See it's kind of piggyback together. These cables are long enough, I, I might move that control panel once I put it in my box that I'm building. But anyway, all I can say is these electronics work, work really good and I'm happy with the uh, ramps. Nice design. Here's a piece that I just made for the 3D printer enclosure. This is a bezel that will go over the control panel because I moved it to the front. It's got a little slot for a card, inset screws, and the rest of the control knobs. So we'll get it on there. It may look nice. Well, there it is after I put the control panel and all my little switches on. I think it come out pretty good. That's the uh, kill switch. Over here is for the fan. There's a fan up in there. You can probably see it spinning. Anyway, that's uh, for ventilation. And a little built-in thermometer sensor. And I have the uh, you can see the lead there. So I've got it midway up the cabinet. You can see my extended wires on the control panel. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you think about it. Here's something else I added to the cabinet. This is a little webcam IP camera and uh, it's looking through the glass at the bed and I can actually bring this camera up on my phone and if I'm away from the print I can see how it's doing. It has audio as well so you can hear it running. So keep an eye on it while I'm running around. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little update about my 3D printer. If you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to ask. I'm learning a lot since I've had this printer, and it really is a skill just to run it correctly. There's a lot of little settings and things that you need to know to make good prints. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.